Britain. On the Kenyan opposition side, Raila's core principal, Moses Wetangula, is also fighting graft allegations following a BBC documentary that accused him of taking a bribe from a tobacco company. Wetangula has distanced himself from the claims threatening to sue the BBC. But as Sam Ogina now reports, Jubilee MPs now want the Senate minority leader to quit his job in Parliament over the scandal. With the claims of voter bribery still hanging over the Bungoma senator's head, the BBC report has added to the political headache of the code core principal who is now threatening to sue anyone linking him with these latest allegations that he received financial favors from tobacco company BAT. I have accordingly instructed my lawyers and my lawyer, senior counsel James Orengo, is here with me to take up legal action against any media house, starting with the BBC, that has carried this libelous and slanderous articles against me. The BBC report claimed that Julie Adele Owino, then a BAT lobbyist, using a pseudonym Amanda, arranged for Wetangula's wife to get a business class ticket to the United Kingdom alongside Wetangula. Then there's the case of Moses Wetangula, Kenya's former Minister of Trade. He wanted a flight to London for his wife. Julie Adele Owino was happy to pay for it. Allegedly as a part of a wider global scheme of bribery to forestall anti-tobacco legislations. Wetangula says he could not have stooped that low. At my level and stature, then I was Minister for Trade <coughs> having served as Foreign Minister of this country in debut capacity and full minister for close to nine years. That I can degenerate to a level of being bought a business class ticket to London when the government that I was serving was buying me a ticket of better quality. The email quoted in the BBC report suggests that Adele Owino used a pseudonym of Amanda and an non BAT email address, sending emails to a BAT manager who was also using a pseudonym John Smith and an non BAT email. On July 17, 2012, they said Amanda emailed John Smith with the subject matter being Honorable Wetangula spouse ticket to the UK. In the email she writes, quote, We need another favor. Honorable Wetangula Minister for Trade is traveling to London on the 25th of July, during which he will be hosted at Globe House during one of the evenings. We agreed to get a ticket for his wife. We request that we do this, end of quote. Apparently to conceal any traces, the email said the transactions should be paperless and there should be no receipts, if any, in the minister's name. Julia De Luino has denied the allegations dismissing the pseudonyms as a fabrication of the BBC. In a statement, she said, My lawyers informed the BBC that I could not respond to the allegations based on some alleged pseudo-email evidence that I had not had the opportunity to interrogate and verify. They requested the BBC to share with us the alleged evidence that they claimed to have. However, they declined to do so for reasons only they can explain. Therefore, I have no reason to believe that there is authentic, verifiable evidence to substantiate the allegations that the BBC has made against me, end of quote. I have had no dealings of any nature in my life with BAT or a Julie Adel Owino. But the Jubilee Coalition wants Wetangula to own up, saying that in fact he should resign. Smoking is harmful to a health. It is worse when it is laced with corruption. This same Moses Wotangula Center for Bungoma has been at the forefront of demanding public officials suspected of corruption to resign or to be sacked. We demand that he stands by the same principle. Wetangula has been a fierce anti-corruption crusader in the recent months in the wake of various scandals in government. Now, he will have to contend with punches from the government side that appears only too glad to return the favor. Samogina KTN News.